Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, the one, the only, the official, the guy from Pittsburgh. Accept no cheesy YouTube commentators, imposters, or trolls. And it's going to be really hot today. It's 88 degrees. And I cannot submit one piece of paperwork till Patty comes over here because I don't have her address. And I didn't know I had to list her address. But I will be dropping off the subpoena. And for the video. So we'll have to bring that to court. And I wrote my doctor's office a letter and I finally after waiting almost a month got a response I haven't looked at it yet so anyway things are coming in slowly but surely and I want to get thank again the mass mask and spooper for sending me a gigantic gift card amount so I could be the kitties all right here's the three things it's very heavy and there's what's heavy is not the cat but this I got a box of Johnny Cat liners. I bought trash bags to use for the cat box. So there's 15 liners. Thank the spoofer. And then, like I guess these are heavy, too. I didn't know it was getting four. I thought I only ordered three. But we have. The kitties will be very happy. And this is enough to feed nine million kitties. <laughs> uh, Twelve-pack variety. Uh, delectables brats, tuna and salmon, tuna, shrimp, and whitefish, chicken and veggies. So I have four boxes. So this is 12 to a box. That's 48 pouches. That's a week. Six eighths or 48. So it's the 14th. And eight is 22. So I'll have to go out, get my super chat check, and get more food. Or order it on Amazon, but it comes in a day thanks to Prime. So this is very gratifying. I was almost out of pouches. I was going to have to start giving them the remainder of the cans. But tiny one, orangey, mama cat, kitten, fluffy little girl, fuzzy occasionally, pretty little girl, and the beautiful gray cat that shows up. I'll be happy. They'll all get food. They won't be starving. So thank you again, the Mexican Super, for doing this wonderful thing for me. And you are the friend to me, friend to my cats, and a friend to all kitties everywhere. And if you've never seen these, you can take a look. Here's a one box. These are much easier on me because I don't have to. I don't have to uh, carry cans. This is why I order them. So we have. Tuna and salmon. Uh, one she loves salmon. Tuna, shrimp, and whitefish. I wonder what smoked whitefish tuna and shrimp would taste like. And chicken and veggies. So, thank you again. Alright, I got another item coming that may get here today. A personal item. And then, I'm not sure what else is coming. Oh yeah, stuff is coming Monday. So, going to take a shower, go outside, brave the elements, <laughs> go feed Orangey and Tiny One, and then go drop off the subpoena for the video at the courthouse. And uh, that's about it. So, have a great day. Stay cool. Stay dry. <laughs> stay hydrated. 88 here today. And I am enjoying relaxing. Uh, oh, one other thing, the cat mat outside. Last night, I love my cats dearly. I love all kitties. And I put the cat mat out there that says, you know, you come home and the cat greets you with purring. Something, basically, something like that. Don't remember the exact wording. So last time, I'm going to take a shower. It's really hot. And I said, well, I'll go tell Fluffy i got to close the door. I know he's out there somewhere. But so far, nobody's lied on the cat mat. So I see Fluffy on the cat mat, just sitting there. Well, I'll go lock the door, take my shower, go fluff, fluff. I got to take a shower, be back in a minute in case you want to go in. I take my shower, get myself dry, grab the iPad, open the screen door, and of course, what does Fluffy do? Runs down the balcony off the mat. I think he was laughing at me. <laughs> 
Thank you, like, Fluffy, you ruined my video moment. That, that was the first time any kitty has sat on the mat, and I couldn't get a shot of it. Uh, I love Fluffy very much, but that was crazy. All right, I'll be back whenever I'm back. Um, Bye-bye for now. This is George Send to the God Bye from Pittsburgh, and this has been Pittsburgh Unboxing. And by the way, one last thing, you can... Uh, donate to the channel in Super Chat when I do go back live, and you can donate to PayPal at falky2013 at gmail.com, and you can join the channel, my membership, three ninety nine dollars or seven, six ninety nine dollars a month, not seven, uh, by hit the join button, and you'll get content you won't see anywhere else, and of course, if I hope I win my case, and I just, I found something, I'm sure I'm going to win it now, when I submit that to the person, the uh, person in charge of the court, I found a legal argument that says this is what it is, and you must pay attention to this, and then the burden of proof will be on the defendant. And I'm going to claim negligence and ask for punitive damages and pain and suffering. If I get a whole lot of money, I'm moving the hell out of here. Some other place. Of course, I saw a house that was outrageous <laughs> for its craziness. This woman had a house, and it's all shelving and closets. I mean, not just shelves like in here where they're six foot high. We're talking shelves where they're 18 feet high, and they're built into the walls. And there's other shelves where they're glass sliding doors to put your brick and brack in. And giant practically walk-in closets. They want a million one for that if I ever went, if I, I played the um, Mega Millions, should I win that? <laughs> I might consider buying that house. I guess I said last night in an email, imagine if all those shelves were filled with paranormal books and all the other shelves had all my bric-a-brac, my creatures, my light-up aliens and all that with lights and then everything could be stored and you'd never see any clutter because I'll be in the closets. You know, it'd all be cleaned up because I'd have to help, but the house is huge, by the way, so it's pretty wild. All right, that's it for this one. This is George Sander, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great day, and even though it's early, a great weekend, I keep thinking today is Friday. It is Bastille Day, so... As Maroney said, the standard answer to any question is July 14th, 1789, Paris, France. Best deal day. That way he didn't have to answer anything. <laughs> it was a running gag. All right, I miss, I miss my friend Delmar P. Maroney a hell of a lot. Bye-bye for now. 40 years I knew the guy. Never thought he'd uh, die on me in such a way. Had a heart attack after getting dialysis. Very sad, but I, I miss him. My friend a lot. Bye-bye.